Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Cosmic Eclipse video. Today's video might be one of my favorite decks I've ever made, um, or at least ever made for the Cosmic Eclipse era. This is going to be a Sunflora Charizard GX deck. This deck is actually pretty, pretty cool, pretty sick. The whole idea of the deck is you're going to be using Sunflora here, you're going to be using Solar Power, for two energy, so you can use a DC. During your next turn, ignore all energy in the attack cost of Grass and Fire Pokemon. So this means you get to use Crimson Storm for free. So you can do 300 damage for zero energy. And you also can use the other Charizard GX. You can use Flare Blitz for zero energy. So the literal win condition of this deck is just do 300 damage to two tag teams and win the game. That's the idea. And getting to do 300 damage for no energy is insanely bonkers. Not to mention, we get to play a card that is named after, like, my favorite song, Sunflower. Um, so yeah, before we get the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Carcarev and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, if you are trying to get yourself Cosmic Eclipse packs still, or maybe you're trying to get Hidden Fates packs to try to get this Charizard, or maybe you're trying to get this Charizard code um, with this uh, Charizard here with Flare Blitz, head over to Kirk Evan TCG for your PDC Geo code needs. They did just kind of revamp their website, and they kind of made it look pretty good now. So if you guys just thought I'd point that out, Kappa. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're ever looking for PDC Geo codes, head over to Kirk Evan TCG to get your codes there. If you get anything from there, make sure to use code LDF for the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. Supports the channel, help yourself out, helping out Kirk Evan also. So yeah, Shout out to the sponsor, Cargarman TCG. Check them out. Now let's look at our deck list here. So yeah, this is one of my favorite decks so far I've built with Cosmic Clips. Um, now, we're going to be basically just using these three Charizards. We are playing a Mewtwo in the deck too because we can use Mewtwo to copy Flare Blitz. It makes it a lot easier. And again, this deck's win condition is pretty straightforward. You want to go Solar Power into a Charizard GX and you want to do Crimson Storm for zero energy. And then you want to, in the background, kind of build up a Charizard with Flare Blitz. And then you want to Flare Blitz another tag team to win the game. It's a pretty straightforward combo. And it's a pretty crushing idea. And it's pretty sick. Just getting to use 300 damage for free thanks to Solar Power. It's bonkers. It really is. Now, okay, I know there is a different way you could play this deck. You could play with Mega Charizard. And this way, if you play with the Mega Charizard, you don't have to use, um, you know, Rare Candy and stuff. And I think we will definitely make a video on this Mega Charizard Sun Floor deck in the future. If you guys want to see that, leave a like on the video and leave a comment saying you do want to see that, and I'll gladly do it. But I just wanted to do dual Charizard GX because I just got the shiny Charizard from a good friend of mine on this game, and also I thought this idea would be a little bit more cooler doing using both Charizard GXs. I thought this idea would be a little bit sicker, but I can definitely see you guys, you know, wanting to see this. So if you guys want to see the Mega Charizard deck, let me know down below. I'll gladly do it. Um smart things in the deck it's all about setup we are playing ditto it's this is a card you get easily take out uh, we are playing a 3-3 sun floor line very important i think to play this because we want to get some floor and play as quick as possible having three sun cards and three sun floors makes that possible i'm going with a 4-1 three charizard line um originally i played three charizard gx's here with uh, crimson storm but i took one out because it was clunking the deck up so i just want to add more consistency to the deck um, but that's fine. Again, with Mew 3 in the deck, you don't really need to worry about it. But you can't use Mew 3 with Sunflora. You just got to be wary of that. Um, I'm using this Charmeleon with Raging Claws because it's pretty sick. I got four Charmanders. Uh, we got two Tapu Leles. I uh, really like this card being able to Lele for either Turn 1 Bridget or even doing Lele for teammates. Lele for Welder. Really important card to have. So I'm playing two of them. Now, I'm not playing any Bench Protection. I'm not playing Sita Widow. I'm not playing Oracorio, uh, which is kind of risky, I guess. But... It is, it's up to you guys how you want to play this deck. You could even play a Lola Ninetales in the deck to uh, be able to get rare candies and stuff. That's also an option. You can play Rosa in the deck too if you want. Um, uh, going into the items now, we got one Cherish Ball. You can find us Charizard Lele. Uh, one Computer Search uh, for, you know, it's an ace pack. I did play Life Dew. The original idea with Life Dew is you put on Sun Floor, you use Solar Power. It doesn't give up a prize card. And then you get two 300 damage for free. I took it out though because it was barely being used. So I was like, Computer Search, yeah, it helps us with consistency. Uh, I got one Field Blower, of course, just to get rid of tools, especially stuff that puts Pokemon above 300 HP. Uh, I got one Level Ball, can search a Sunkern, Charmander, Charmeleon, Sunflora. We're going for candies. One Stretcher. I am playing a Switch. Obviously, once you do 300 damage, you're kind of stuck in the active spot, so we can then use Switch along with two Float Stones to move them. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm playing no damage modifiers. You don't need any. Uh, we got four Ultra Balls, four Via Seekers. Uh, I am playing a Hearth and a Heat Factory. Scorched Earth is definitely a card you could play in here, too. But it's kind of tight on space. Um, but Hearth is really good with Welder and Blacksmith, I think. And I like having the Heat Factory for the extra draw. I'm playing a lot of supporters. Got two Juniper, one and one Chorus. 
two Guzmas just because Guzma with the Sunflowers can be really powerful. Um, yeah, I got the turn one Bridget. Really good. You just go Bridget, double Charmander, you know, get a Sun Kern or something like that. Uh, we got one teammates. We got knocked out. Rare Candy Charizard, 300 damage. Pretty straightforward idea. One Welder, of course. We need, and Blacksmith, we need ways to build up Charizards in the background. Um, you can't use Blacksmith with Mewtwo, so I can definitely see the reason to play two Welders, but we only play six, or we play seven energy, which is not a whole lot for Welder to work off of. I got two Floats, of course, to retreat. You can even go up to three if you wanted to, because we have the Switch. Uh, I got three DCEs. Um, along with seven fires. Now I can definitely see you going down to 40 C six fires And I might actually want to do that. So we'll see uh, but this is the list I got going on with my Sun Flora Charizard deck You know what? I'm excited to play this. Let's try it out. All right guys. Let's go try out the uh, Charizard Sun Flora deck. I'm pretty hyped to play this deck when I built it. I was like yo This might be my favorite deck I've built so far and it looks like we're up against possibly a Mewtwo deck. But any tag team deck is fine by me because of the fact we just win the game in a few turns. So I'm fine with that. We'll see if they are playing. Well, we win the game in a few attacks anyways. We're going to start with a Charmander and a Mewtwo. We're going to start with a Charmander for sure, I think. Don't know if I want to bench the Mewtwo yet. If he's playing Mewtwo, obviously this is just going to give him an easy three prizes. And originally I did play Life Dew in my deck. Um, oh, he's playing a Mega Mewtwo deck. Oh, so he's not really playing anything too competitive. But it's one of the issues with Expanded, obviously, is not a lot of people are always going to be playing the best of decks. So, it's a toss-up. You'll either run into good decks or you'll run into bad decks. It's just how it is. Draw an extra card. That's good. Good thing we have Welder and Energy in our hand. There's a Sunkern. Alright, so we can Welder to the Mewtwo, and then we can get this guy ready to go with a Flare Blitz. We got Rare Candy Charizard. Okay. I'm going to stay in the active. I mean, I hope I live. But we actually do have a pretty good start here. We can Rare Candy Charizard. We can Solar Power. That seems good to me. Just a Grass Energy getting played. Uh, another Tag Team getting played. That's also weak to Fire. Which means we can knock it out with Flamethrower. Alright, this is looking a little good. Now, mind you, my opponent might not be playing the most amazing deck on the planet. I'll take what I can get, though. As long as they don't end me here, we have a pretty good turn going for us. Looks like he's going to get a Buzzmosa. No, he's going to get a Charizard EX. Will this get him a Buzzmosa? Is he going to get an attacker here? He can get a Buzzmosa and hit me for 30. No, he's going to get a Verizian. Does he have a Dimension Valley to do 50? No, he has a Cynthia, though. Uh, good thing I didn't retreat, because if he does hit a D-Valley here, he just knocks me out with Emerald Slash. Oh, Battle Compressor. That can help him. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm playing against here. This is... Doesn't really seem like he's playing a very powerful deck. Okay, he puts some actual good tag... He puts some good things in the discard. Okay. And he stokes. Does get Tails. you love to see it. That's actually really good. Um, because Mewtwo could have been threatened. But we are indeed going to be able to have a pretty busted turn here. Pretty busted turn if you ask me. You can also just get Lele, which I think I'm gonna do. We're just gonna go Juniper. But we have the teammates. It's best to get a new hand. And this is gonna be the busted turn for us. Uh, we're gonna go Juniper. And we are gonna try to Crimson Storm KO this Mewtwo, and then all we gotta do is knock out one more tag team to win the game. There's the uh, Charizard, which we can put in the discard pile, I think. What else? I guess Guzma? We'll get another Charmander here. You, you can kind of see how our win condition's working. Um, little solar power. And then now all we gotta do is maybe just Welder to this guy, get up a Flare Blitz, and then boom. That's how we're gonna win the game. Now, there is a slight chance he could knock out this guy. I doubt it, though. Like, I highly doubt he's gonna knock out my Charizard. Maybe he might not even knock out Sunflora. Like, what attacks does he have? He can get, like, a DCE and knock me out with... the. Uh, Pollen Hazard, I think, would do... No, it does 80, right? No, 90? Yeah, I don't know what he would knock me out with here. He might not have a KO. I guess... No, he could Psychic Infinity me. Yeah, never mind. He's gonna Stoke. Why would you do that? I mean, I guess... I guess he can move all the energy, but that seems to make no sense to me why you would do that. Well, and this is where the, uh, the deck is going to make room for some crazy combos. Let's uh, do Welder first. Welder to the Mewtwo. Get this bad boy powered up for a Flare Blitz. 
Ooh, we got a heat factory. Play that. There's DCE. So we win literally next turn. Watch this. We're doing 300 damage for zero energy at all. You can tell me that's not busted. You can tell me that's busted. In my heart, I know that that is pretty busted. Now, will this Charizard go down? I want to say no. There's not really anything on board they have that can threaten me. Like, this thing could pawn hazard, but why would you want to bring this in the active? It's weak to fire. He has to buff padding this actually to survive the turn. Actually, no, we could just comp search for field blower. Yeah, I don't really see how he's playing this. He could end me, of course, but because we have the Mewtwo fully powered up. I mean, field blower is like, I think, his best out to not letting me win the game. But as you can see, guys, Sunfloor letting Charizard do 300 damage for zero energy is pretty epic. Now, I know there is Mega Charizard, and I probably already talked about this in the deck explanation part of the video. I know there's the Mega Charizard we can play. And you know what? We will play that in a future video. If you guys want to see a Mega Charizard Sunfloor video, leave a like and drop a comment down below if you want to see it. And I will definitely do a Mega Charizard Sunfloor. There will definitely be more Sunfloor decks coming in the future, hopefully. And he just brings in the Venusaur. He is like, yeah, man, um, I just lost. We have the uh, Zard. I guess, no, I guess he could, like, power plant me here, but unless we prize Giant Hearth, there's nothing he can do. He has to, like, end, plant, field blower me, enhanced hammer me. Those are some of the ways he can prevent me from winning here. Let's see. He might just hit me for 180 damage and just be like, yeah, I lose. I lose the game. Let's see what he does. He has no, he only has a Cynthia, that's not, that's not gonna get rid of my hand. With Red Card and Marshadow being banned and Reset Sam, I'm feeling pretty good about this spot. I know he wasn't playing the most competitive Mewtwo decks, but again, you get the whole idea of the deck, right? You initially just can win the game by taking two Pokemon out with 300 damage. That's the idea of the deck. And we got to show it off, yeah, he's gonna Pollen. I get he could have maybe, like, played a thing that, um, that said, like, Pokemon that are affected by Switch, just can't retreat. I'm just trying to come up with scenarios in my head for how he could have won the game. I just don't think it was possible. Yeah, we're just gonna retreat into Mewtwo. And we are going to hit him with a Flare Blitz. For 300 damage, and that is game. And that is how the Charizard deck wins games, folks. You take two tag teams out because you get to do 300 damage for zero energy, and you also get to do other things with Mewtwo for free. That is, that's how the deck works. We almost got that daily challenge done. Kind of sucks we didn't. But yeah, there you go. That is pretty much the idea of the deck. We're going to get some more games of the deck, though, and hopefully keep uh, memeing on people with the sunflowers. Okay, so another thing I did want to add into the deck, possibly, could be another Charizard, whether it be the Roaring Resolve one, or whether it be the Split Bomb one, or the one from Evolutions. I can definitely see the excuse to playing another, like, a baby Charizard in case you don't run into Tag Team Pokemon or GX Pokemon. Like, if you run to a, you know, something that doesn't play many GXs, that definitely could be a reason. Now, we're up against a Grass deck here, which I feel bad for my opponent because they don't know what the, what's coming. We're going to be doing 600 damage for free, pretty much, which is pretty amazing. And we are going to get a alright start. The only thing worrying me is we don't have a, another draw supporter. That's why I do play a heavy line of, you know, Ley Lane. I play so many supporters just so we don't get into situations where we have hands like this. I'm going to start with the Charmander. It's a little risky, I guess, but we're going to start with it. Because if we start with Sun Current, he might just buzz most of Donkey. Never mind. Ooh, he's got rats in the deck. It looks like he's playing Ratata, maybe? Let's go for Bridget. Get Charmander, Sun Kern. Got all we got. One Candy Prize. Almost for supporters. We have both Lele's. We have all our Ultra Balls. We have our Cherish Ball, too. Hopefully we can draw one of them. Fire Fang for 40. I think I'm going to put an energy on a Sun Current because then we can go into Sun Flora. We can get a Welder. So, yeah, we'll hold the energy. I guess maybe I could have attached the active because then I can just, like, you know, Blacksmith. It's fine. Eradicate, though, might be a little tricky to deal with. We can attack with Sun Flora's Solar Beam after we do Solar Power. I guess we can use Charmeleon. Oh, this matchup's going to be a little difficult, though, for sure. They might play a Leafeon down. I mean, that'd be an interesting turn for them. Being able to Leafeon to get a bunch of Pidgeotos in play. And that would actually be kind of insane. It looks like they are going to try it out. 
So unlike that last game, this matchup is going to be a little bit more tricky to beat. For sure. Char we definitely don't want to use Mewtwo. Definitely don't want to use Mewtwo. Maybe I should have attached the active so we could just like Fire Fang for 40. But then it doesn't matter. They'll just breath the leaves to damage off. I mean, it didn't matter at the end of the day. Kind of weird. Leafeon is still in standard. Um, it just doesn't really have any good partners. Though I guess Grand Bloom, we could, you know, Grand Bloom could still be tested out. Maybe Grand Bloom Pidgeotto is like an insane idea that is yet to be discovered. Maybe I'll have to like relook at Leafeon in standard because maybe, maybe uh, Grand Bloom is actually pretty busted. There we go. We're doing Ultra Ball. That's what we're looking for. We're just going to go, I think, for Juniper here. Let's do it. We could actually know Chorus is better. We are gonna draw nine cards. We need to retreat the Charmander. We can knock out the Leafeon in a couple turns. I guess Layla can knock out Raticate possibly. Oh, we didn't get a switching card. We didn't get a Charizard to go with the rare candy. That is a pretty bra hand if you ask me. That really sucks. Wow, that was a really disappointing chorus. So if they knock me out, we can do teammates, which is fine. I gotta pray they put down a tag team Pokemon, but I highly doubt they will. They actually, honestly, I don't even know if we can win this. Like these Pidgeotos, like they already have a good setup. Raticate insta kills Charizard. We're only taking one prize for knocking him out. I actually don't know if we can even win this game in all honesty. This is not looking like a good matchup for us. Do they have a DCE? Do they play DC? I'm assuming they do. Yeah, this is just, this is not a good matchup for us at all. This is like the issue with this deck. Yeah, it takes out GX heavy decks, but you kind of struggle when you run into, you know, Raticate and Pidgeotto. Leafeon is good, but like, that's just only GX. I don't really see if we're, I don't see how we're gonna be able to take out all these rats. He doesn't have an Ariados in place, so he has to dig for lasers to KO me, which is at least good. We'll have to see what happens. Touch the grass. Alright, we live the turn, which is kind of cool. So we can Guzma here. Or he's going to Guzma me first. Bringing out the Lele. It's fine. We can actually retreat. Let's see what we draw. Juniper. Okay, well. Hmm, I'm only doing 50 with... I, 50 damage is not a lot. Touch. And I think we're definitely gonna just Guzma here and go for solar power. Don't know if I want to bring in Eradicate or bring in a Pidgeotto. We can bring in Pidgeotto and then knock it out. We'll see. Let's just get our solar power off. We'll see what happens. We might strain this thing in the active spot. If he doesn't find a switching card, then technically he can't even attack me. And then we can take a knockout with Sunflora. Or we can do something else. Again, I don't want to go into Charizard right away. He might even be using Shrine to knock me out with Eradicate. This is a difficult matchup to navigate. I could, I could honestly see you playing like a really cool tech card. That is Venusaur and Snipey GX. Because we can do its GX attack for free and do... 50 damage to everything. Though we wouldn't knock anything out, other than the Rattata, that would be kind of epic. Um, but I guess he would have Breath of the Leaf. But then we could like do some insane combo with like Distortion Door or Mew. So if you want to play a Mew Psy Power and play a Venusaur Celebi or Venusaur Snivy, be my guess. Maybe that's how Venusaur Snivy works. You play with Sunfloor. Yeah, he is playing Shrine of Punishment. Okay, so yeah, Charizard. Oh, man, it's gonna be a little risky. Let's see what he does here. Now we can knock out a Pidgeotto, which I'm happy to do. There's a Cynthia on his end. I mean, at the same time, I want to kill this Leafeon. So I don't really know. You know this is just a tough matchup for us. This is just a tough, tough matchup. I gotta just pray at some point they bench like a Buzzmosa or something like that. I highly doubt they will, but... If they want to play Buzzmosa down, please go for it. Maybe they're going to be like, oh, I can play Buzzmosa in the deck. I can, like, Super Fang them, put them down to 10, 
and if they don't heal, then I can beast game on a tag team and win the game. Maybe that's their mindset. I'm actually going to retreat into Ratata. Okay. That means I can knock him out with Raging Claws. Doesn't really seem too good, though. Dang it, Charmeleon. Why can't you do 10 more damage? Just going to have to Chorus again. That's our second versus here. See what we get. Still no Dark Candy Charizard. I don't even know if I want to put this guy in play because then he just goos my Raticate key. Get another Sunflora. Again, I think we'll just attack him with Sunflora for now until we figure something out. We'll see if Sunflora lives. I don't know, man, if I'm playing this properly, but this is a hard matchup to navigate. There we go. We got a rare candy Zard. This is just too hard of a matchup for us, guys. I just don't really know what we're going to do. This is the issue. You, you run into non-GX decks, especially Raticate. What do you do? Like, even Night March is, like, beatable because if they bench enough Shamans and Leles and Dedenes and Mar Shadows, you win the game. But you're not going to be able to win a deck like this. That's why I really wish I just played, like, a, a one copy of Snivy Sword just to meme on them. They could Guzma, Triple Energy, knock out Lele, and they're actually going to Lysander. Yeah, they're going to knock out Lele here. We don't have an end in our discard pile. I guess we can knock him out with Wing Attack. Do they even have, do they have a DC to knock me out? I was even going to use Lele as one of my attackers here. They do have the DCE. Yeah, see, this is tough, guys. This is just too tough for me. I mean, maybe we just wing attack and hope for the best. <laughs> At this point, I don't really know what to do. I actually don't really know what I want to do. This is just not a matchup this deck was really made for. I don't even think we have energy in the discard, do we? Nope. In the chorus. Uh, I wish we had an N right now, but they still have two Pidgeotos. Do we get a counter stadium? We do. We didn't find an energy though? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Bruh. That is really annoying. Wow. Yikes. They probably have another Lysander here. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? We didn't find energy? Like, I could even bank on the fact they're not even playing triples, but... That was the goal. Knock them out. Probably they don't play triples, and then we can maybe take out a few more prizes with Charizard before it goes down. But no, not today. It looks like my opponent can knock me out here. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. See, these matchups are just unwinnable. Oh, they're gonna get a Guzma. What are they doing? Do they have another? Do they have a triple and a shrine? They have a laser. Do they have the? No, I have a knockout. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. Yeah, this is like that's the issue there with Charizard. You can't beat non-GX matchups. That's why I wanted to play the Roaring Resolve Charizard, so we had an answer to that. But I mean, this deck—it's more of a meme deck. It's not like a serious competitive deck. It is—it's a funny, it's a really funny deck. But let's open up a Cosmic Eclipse pack here, see what we can pull out of it, hoping to get. You know, a nice... I haven't pulled a full art tag team supporter yet out of any packs. I had to trade for my Mallow and Lana and Caitlyn Cynthia. So I'm hoping we get a full art supporter here, which we do not. We get a Sylveon. Rip. What does this do? If you played a tag team supporter from your hand during this turn, it's 160 damage. Cool. Alright, well, let's uh, find another match here with the uh, deck. Try to win a game again and probably don't run into a non-GX deck. Okay. Looks like we're playing against Pika, which is kind of worrying because of Tag Bolt, but we'll have to see if Tag Bolt does become an issue. And we'll see what we start with this time. Maybe we should play a Mimer Mew just because of Tag Bolt. Maybe it is smart to do that. But I don't know what you would take out. I guess you could take out the Ditto. I, yeah, I guess the Ditto can get cut for a, a bench protection Pokemon. 
or even like another Charizard or even like a Reshizard you can play. But we're gonna meme on people with Charizard GX. We don't want to use Reshizard. It's not fun. Alrighty then. We are mulliganing here, making it look like we're playing some sort of welder based deck. <laughs> well, we are, but we're not. We're really not. When you're doing 300 damage for free, you don't need welder to power up your uh, 300 damage attack. That's how insane this deck is. Okay, Charmander, Sun Current start. Still no follow-up supporter, but I'm fine with this hand. Problem is, if they're playing Pika, they have Tag Bolts, so we can't really bench Lele. It's kind of risky, but at the same time, we take out two tag teams, we win the game, so maybe it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, I just gave them a big hand, I don't like that. Especially if they're playing Pika, which they most likely are. Oh, wait, maybe they're not. Okay, we're gonna bridge it. For Sunkern, Charmander, Charmander. Okay, the supporters are all in check, same with their energy. So I guess they're not playing what I thought they were playing. Let's just attach to Sun Current and Pass. I'm not gonna attach the active because there's no point. I guess we should have because then like if we rare candy charts we're gonna attack. Whatever. I didn't want to attach because then Mewtwo can come in and maybe knock me out if he has like Belt Kakui, something crazy like that. Because we have the hearth, we don't really care too much for holding the hand. They're gonna just straight up Juniper here, getting rid of Garboder. Oh, are they playing a Garboder deck? That'll be interesting. No tag teams like the last game, but we'll see what happens. They might play a tag team. Ooh, Field Blower. That's a really good card to see get discarded. And they're gonna get another Shaman, so they can Sky Return. As long as they have at least two Shamans in play, though, they are very easy targets for Charizard to KO. But, uh, they're gonna scoop one up here, it looks like. Okay. Mewtwo can't knock me out as long as I don't touch an energy. We haven't played any items. I can play this game very coy too and not play many items either. That could be our win condition. Alright, what do we draw? <sighs> I'm the Charmander, I don't need you. We're just gonna have to pass the turn, unfortunately. That's not good. This is why I played, like, I took out the Life 2 for the comp search, I threw in the Lele, I added more draw spores like the end and the chorus, but it's not even helping me at all. That is very disheartening. Uh, do they have a knock on Sunkern? Do they have a Muscle Band? No, they don't. They actually just concede. Okay, good. That was just a bad match anyways. <laughs> it doesn't even look like they were really playing a deck that really played many tag teams, so I'm actually pretty happy they conceded there, considering our setup was really bad. Alright, we're up against Elisa Chang, who seems to be playing a deck with tag teams, hopefully. So we'll have to see if that's what she's playing. And we win the coin flip. That's always good. Turn 2 Sunflora would be awesome. Hopefully we can get a good start. Unlike the last game where our start was kind of miserable. The turn bridge is always good, but we need a follow-up supporter. And when you don't have it, it's very disheartening. So let's see what we can do here with our starting hand. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should play some kind of other Charizard. Baby Charizard, maybe. I don't know. I was actually considering doing an expanded video a while back that played like every Charizard, like all the baby Charizards, all the Charizard GXs, but I kind of scrapped it. Ditto and Sun Current Star. Okay. We have the turn to Sun Flora. Let's see if we can draw a supporter here. No, we drew a. They're playing Bulk. Okay. That's fine. We'll just end them. Okay. That's uh, not really the hand I was looking for. Just to put it very bluntly. Let's see what I want to do. We have Rare Candy Charizard, but I think I gotta hold the hand. Because I need a Lele. Alright, we just gotta hope they don't get a Welder Knockout here. I want Sunkern to survive the turn. Why? Okay, it's only one energy. Never mind. Ooh, a baby Blacephalon. That's kind of annoying. If they play a Reshizard down, though, that'd be great. No, no. Not candy top deck. 
You're killing me right now, game, with the bad top decks. Alright, we're just gonna have to Lele then for Juniper. Gotta do it. Not my ideal play, but we gotta do what we gotta do. I guess we could bridge it. Nah, we just gotta go Juniper. Gotta hope for the best with Juniper. We'll play down the Mewtwo. We'll go for Juniper. We're losing two candies and a Zard. Okay, we got the Sunflora. Which is all that matters. I guess we'll get rid of these two Sun Currents because Ditto's in play. We actually could just get Charmeleon here. And then use this guy to Flare Blitz. But at the same time, well, because we're down two candies, I think we kind of have to do this. It's kind of wasting that DC, though. It's my only issue with that. Well, solar power. And before he has no energy in his hand to attack me, Kappa. I doubt it. She probably will. We need her to play, like, a tag team down or something, though. There we go. Yeah, there it is. There's that nice tag team Pokemon. We can slowly build up Mewtwo for either... Crimson Storm or Flare Blitz. Alright. If they don't have an energy here, that would just be super amazing, but they probably have it. But, you never know. Oh, they concede the game. They can't take the Sun Power. They can't handle the Sun Power of the Sun Flora. Alright, let's get into another game with the deck then. We're just kind of cruising through games here. If they knocked me out, I would have Ultra Balled away the fire in our top deck, got Charizard, Balled Charmeleon, knocked him out, and then prayed we didn't get knocked out in return. So let's see what we're up against next. Uh, Dragon, Psychic... I don't know what to expect. It could be a Neuburn deck. That'd be pretty bad. Um, we don't win the coin flip, which is also kind of bad. I'm fine with this video, though. Honestly, we got to show off a lot of the deck, which is kind of nice. Lele start not looking good. We can do a Bridget, though. As long as our other Lele's not prized, which I do like. We have Charizard and Sunflower in our hand. They're gonna Mulligan. Oof, yeah, they are playing some sort of... Well, they have B-String. They might be playing Naga Guz, which, hey, I'm fine with that, man. If you're playing tag teams, beware. No, they do have Noibat. Noivern's Distortion is super frustrating because of the fact they can easily... Um, they obviously can just prevent me from playing items, and I can't rare candy Charizard. But then we can retaliate with Mewtwo. They're going to get that Naga Guzzlord, and hey man, you want to bench that, be my guest. You don't know what is in store for you. In fact, bench another one so I can knock it out. No, nope, rip. Let's see, do we have our Lele? We do, do we have our Bridget? We do, that's good. Look at this. Get Lele. I guess Chorus would have been the better discard there, but I don't even know if I want to discard this hand yet. Again, I'm a little worried about Distort. That's a very annoying attack, but we'll see. I also want to move Lele out of the active spot. Because I don't want to see Lele get bopped. I think we'll attach to it and pass. In the next turn, we can evolve some Flora. Hope Juniper gives me the DC, and then we can Solar Power. There's the Noivern, bro. They had it in their hand. Do they also have the double dragon energy to follow up with? I gotta hope Charmeleon's not prized either. But it's gonna be hard to search for without our items. I guess we can teammates. Okay, they didn't have it. Alright. That is amazing. And we drew the rare candy! Holy crap, that is perfect. It's actually perfect. And we'll just shoot up her. Dump the hand, look for DCE. Okay, we did find it. Lots of items, though. Lots and lots of items. Charmeleon is prized. Well, good thing we have the Charizard in play. Kind of have to... Let's just get Chorus. And we'll Solar Power. So we can knock him out. Actually, we can Guzma knock out the Guzzlord, which might actually be a little bit better. Maybe I should have via secret for Guzma then, in case he gets a double dragon energy here. 
He did bench something, that's why I got Chorus too. Oh, he's actually retreating to the Noibat. Ooh, we kind of have we have him at our mercy right now. We can knock out the Guzzlord here. We can also knock out the Noivern so he never does another... So he doesn't distort me. But at the same time, this thing won't get knocked out anytime soon. So we can always turn that into something else. So yeah, we're just going to Guzma this Guzzlord out. We're also going to Giant Hearth away the Ultra Ball before he plays Garboder. We're just going to get some fires out of the deck. At this point, we can probably charge up Ditto. We can also build the active. Yeah, yeah, then we can retreat. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. And here we go. Crimson Storm. Bye-bye, Tag Team Pokemon. 300 damage for free. And we take three prizes. Let's see if we get this Charmeleon here. No, Charmander's a good start, though. Field Blower. More unplayable items. And there it is. Beautiful. Oh, wait. Yeah, I just realized. We had to discard the fire. Why did I attach the active? Minor misplay on my end, but it doesn't look like my opponent has much. If they do item lock me, we have to pray we draw a Guzma so we can move this guy. We can also just manual attach to it. Or we can just weld it attached for treating the Sun Flora and then just go for another Crimson Storm. Alright, now, I doubt they're going to bench another tag team, but if they will be uh, so kind to do so, that would be great. They are going to build up a Poipo. They could go for a Venom Shot and a Ganadel, taking out multiple Leles. That could be pretty good for them. And it looks like they are going to do it. Noivern does have a free retreat cost. Oh, wait, they're going to get a Stinger. They could play Stinger GX. That could kind of reset the game a little bit. Wait, they didn't even get any energy on this thing. I guess they didn't have enough cards in their hand. Beast Raid for 20. Oh my god, I feel bad. I actually feel bad right now. I'm just gonna chorus. I'm feeling pretty safe about our spot. We're just gonna try to find the glowstone here. We didn't find it. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna hold the hand. We'll just Guzma next turn. I, I could have be a seeker for Guzma, obviously, but I didn't want to because that was that was my last via seeker. So I was like, all right, we should probably just hold it for a rainy day. We can Guzma next turn. Maybe bring in this Noivern here and then do Sun Flora's play. What we want to do is get that another big boy Zard into play, yes sir. Yes sir. That's the last for energy. That's why we have four in the discard. We have one prized. Alright, here we go. Do this. Get another Charizard, obviously. Yeah, we're creaming my opponent right now. This is what the deck is all about. Again, we're not really up against a super competitive deck. Still, though, we're doing some justice with Charizard, and that's all that matters. And again, I really want them to bench a tag team here, but I highly doubt they will. Wait, you need another Guzma. They just passed. I think they've given up at this point. No pun intended, but they cannot handle the heat. Could even raging out them for the meme, but we're just gonna hit him for 300 damage. You know, it's a little overkill, but you know, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. And there's another energy, beautiful. So yeah, we'll just retreat Charizard, go into Charizard GX here, and Flare Blitz, win the game, and I don't see how my opponent's gonna stop me. Unless they M me to two and they distort me in the same turn. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're trying very well. So it looks like the Charizards are just gonna win, and you kinda see how this deck works, despite we are, I guess we didn't really play against like the most. Actually, let's just try to get Flowstone here. We're not playing against the most competitive decks on the planet. Still, though, I think we got to show off this deck pretty well, and I had a lot of fun playing this deck. Oh, no, we don't win the game. That's right. We don't actually have a game here. It's fine, though. We'll still go for Flare Blitz, so let's see why not. Or not Flare Blitz, sorry. Flamethrower. Didn't get that last via seeker. Yeah, so despite not playing us with competitive decks, I still think we showed off this deck beautifully. We still were able to do solar power. We we're still able to just smoke tag team Pokemon with Charizards. Like this deck is actually insane. And I definitely will try out the Mega Charizard version of this deck in the future. If you guys want to see that, leave a like. They just concede. And yeah, I think that'll wrap up the day's PDC Geo video, guys, with the Charizard deck. This deck is pretty insane. Obviously, it will take some L's to those rats. Like, you know, what were we gonna do there? Nothing. But, um, I guess, like, there are some Charizards that can work in those certain matchups. 
because uh, you can play all the Charizard you want. Uh, let's see. The Charizard I think that would have been best for that would have been the Roaring Resolve Charizard. Uh, we also could have used the Charizard with Split Bomb. That could have been kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, you have a lot of Charizard options, which is nice. You have a lot of Charizard options. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Uh, the Dragon Charizard won't work with Sun Floor. But yeah, I definitely do want to do a video on this Mega Charizard here. Uh, we even could have played this Charizard, but this one is... Um, a lot worse, but I guess like Dreadful Flames, but 250 is not 300 damage. 300 damage is just cooler. Doing 300 damage for free like that is awesome. Um, I guess there's this Charizard too with Heat Typhoon, but we need to get Fire Energy on it. But there are just so many Charizards to choose from. I guess there's also, I know there's Reshizard, there's also Breakzard. Breakzard actually would have been good here. I guarantee you any three cards you want. Uh, but I don't know, I think this deck is pretty memeable. It's a, it's a fun meme deck. Again, it's not a competitive deck by any means, but it's a hilarious deck. Give this deck a try for yourself on the Expanded Ladder. Mix up the deck, maybe add your own Charizard. There's so many to choose from as I just presented there. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And how the road to reaching 7,000 slash 6,200 subscribers. And as always, guys, make sure to check out our sponsor, Car Carbon TCG, down below. Use code LDF if you pick up anything from there. I will greatly appreciate it. Support the channel. Follow me on Twitter down below, too. I actually tweeted out this deck list pretty early yesterday. So, again, if you guys want to see some future video ideas, I tend to tweet them out. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.